Hey YouTube, Chuk and Shinobi here with a review of the Tamashi Web exclusive SH Figure Arts Deca Yellow and Deca Pink. The last of the core five Deca Rangers to be released. The Girls in Trouble, Jasmine, Umeko, uh, Z, or Sid if you are an SPD fan and prefer that. Same thing. Uh, ex actually, they are pretty close to the same thing, but I really actually enjoy SPD more than Deca Ranger, but teach their own. Uh, very, very cool. I, I like Deca Ranger too, don't get me wrong. Uh, just clearing the air with that. But um, they are a little bit uh, shorter than the male counterparts. For example, here is Deca Red. Right there, so you can kind of see that they are maybe about a quarter of an inch shorter. Not all too much, and I'm pretty sure that's actually accurate. So no huge complaints there. But uh, same body mold, and the fact that these don't have skirts means they're even closer to the male counterparts. Um, you do get a little bit of boobage there, but I mean, as you can see on Deca Red, it's not too much different than the pectoral muscles on the male figures. So um, pretty much the same exact mold, just scaled down a, a wee bit. Uh, full articulation in the shoulder. Uh, if you do rotate that all the way around, it does get stuck sometimes. But uh, you do have the double joint at the knee and the elbow. Of course, the typical wrist joint full rotation at the head and neck. Be sure to straighten that out. Uh, this is hindered a little bit by the um, holsters. There we go. But as you can see, the holsters do swivel. So you can get around that rather easy. Swing that back down. And then you do have a pretty nifty uh, ball joint system down there at the foot that they've been using for Sentai releases, and it works quite well. So, um, yeah, like I said, not really too much different than the male SPD. You have the uh, Ranger stick, or the D-stick rather, not Ranger stick, that's the Ranger. Uh, right there, the D-knuckle. Right there, and then the SP license back there. SP license is removable, does not open if I remember correctly. That'd be really neat if it did, but does not open. Pops right back in there. And there you go, these obviously can come off just like that. They do not combine, however they do include combined versions, which we'll take a look at in un momento. Stay up there. And here's Deca Pink, just to show that off. Um, pretty much the same figure, like I said. In fact, it is the same figure. Just done in pink with the five over here. Uh, as always with these figures, very, very cool. Um, I, I can't complain too much when it comes to the Deca Ranger figure arts. I really do dig them. Um, I, SPD is one of my favorite seasons, and I did enjoy Deca Ranger as a Sentai, so uh, these are kind of a win-win for me. There is a paint splotch on her shoulder right there. But that's fine. Don't really care. Now the badge on the side here is actually very well tempographed on there. See? Right there. So very cool. Um, all the details on the helmet. Um, I think there's a little bit of detail on the helmet missing. But the badge here. The badge there. The uh, belt buckle. Even the SP license itself. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, is, is heavily detailed. And looks really nice. So, um, just like all of these uh, Deca Ranger figure arts, they did a fantastic job on the girls, and I have no major complaints there. Uh, the accessories for uh, the girls are actually the same, no matter which one we look at. We're going to look at yellows just because it's in a little bit closer proximity to me. So, you do have the Ranger stick, as mentioned, and the Ranger stick, I did it again. D stick. And the D knuckle. You have the D stick. Yes, D stick. In I don't like keep messing that up. In its elongated sword baton mode thingy. The D shot, I believe. Uh, right here in its uh, the combined mode between the shortened D stick and the D knuckle. So uh, that's pretty neat, I suppose. And then you have the D shooter, which is a tiny little sidearm weapon. Um, I believe what they used in civilian mode. I do not remember off the top of my head, but tiny little, little little ones. 
Uh, so those are neat. And then you have the D-Wappas, otherwise known as the D-Cuffs. So you have those. They don't fold or anything, or open for that matter. But uh, they can be held in the hand. Speaking of hands, there's actually quite a few. Uh, there is a hand for each of these uh, girls that have Zenny Bombs on them, which are tiny, like, yen-sized uh, little explosives. So you have those... Uh, yellow comes with a karate chop hand that uh, pink doesn't come with for some reason. Uh, both come with a kind of like pointy hand, uh, but on opposite hands, pink instead of the karate chop hand comes with this sort of uh, five high five hand because that is how their poses work. Um, like red holds up a one. Uh, blue is two, green is three. Her karate chop hand is actually the four, and so she does the five with her fingers uh, splayed out. So you've got their pose hands, which are those. Then you have uh, holding hands for the D shot, or the D knuckle, or the D shooter. Pose hands, uh, D. I almost said D sword, uh, D stick, holding hand, and a little posy, majestic hand. The other posy, majestic hand, and then more holding hands. And so pink comes with those same lineup of hands as well, even the little posy hands. Yellow comes with an additional hand for Deca Blue, his uh, two. And then Deca Pink comes with an additional hand for Deca Green, fitting, uh, that has the three. So between uh, the girls and uh, Deca Red, you can actually make their entire pose lineup with the uh, numbers. So that's kind of a neat option to do as well. Lots of actually really cool options you can do with these guys and girls. So uh, that covers the accessories, that covers the figures, so let's go ahead and uh, pose it up. I pose them like that. Why? I have no idea, but I did. So uh, I just wanted symmetry because I'm weird. Uh, very cool releases, actually. If you're a fan of SPD or Decker Ranger, uh, SPD in either language, really, uh, then by all means, these are great, great pickups. Um, if you have Decker Red, Green, and Blue, obviously these are absolute must-haves. If you're not into the whole collecting the entire Sentai team thing, it's still worth picking up one or the other, depending on your preference, just to have the female version of the suit. They are exclusive, so they are going to be a little bit more pricey than Decca Red would be. But um, aftermarket prices on these haven't been too absurd. They're about the same as the Shinken girls. Uh, not as crazy as the Gokai girls, but about the same price as the Shinken girls. Uh, give or take. So not too bad, but a little bit more than you would pay for the male releases. Uh, so keep that in mind, especially when pre-ordering future female Sentai figure arts that they actually tend to go for a little bit on the aftermarket. So keep that in mind during your pre-order phase. Uh, but regardless, very cool releases. Um, I like their accessory counts. I like the fact that they come with virtually every accessory that you would need for them. Plus some I don't even remember from the show, uh, which is even better. So, uh, very cool overall. Lots of display options with all these accessories, and they look absolutely fantastic with the rest of the team. So if you have the full team, complete it. If not, it's more or less whether you like either of these two characters enough to want their figure. Absolutely looking forward to a possibility of a uh, Deca Break and um, Deca Master. Absolutely. Deca Master is probably one of my number one Sentai figure at wants right now. So very much looking forward to them to fully complete the team. And then we can start tackling things like uh, Deca Swan and Deca Bright and stuff. Um, but really looking forward to it. SPD Deck Ranger, one of my faves. So definitely looking forward to getting some more releases. Potentially swap mode. Uh, very cool mold. Very cool figures. Definitely worth the pickup. So you can check out shukanashobi.com for list updates and my reviews and hauls. And of course check out Riders, Rangers, and Rambles. The podcast for the latest token news in the careers way possible. And of course, you can buy SH Figure Arts and other Super Sentai merchandise at cstoysjapan.com. So take care and have a great one. Bye.